हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप मदान आई एम एनाटॉमी फैकल्टी डैम्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन व्हिच वाज आस्क इन रीसेंट एम्स एग्जाम दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन डिस्कस इन द क्लास इट हैज बीन डिस्कस इन द क्लब्स नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स सो आई नो यू मस्ट हैव मार्क दिस आंसर राइट सो लेट अस लुक एट द क्वेश्चन artery lying deep to the marked area in the given picture is one of the following artery and the area which is marked here is uh, nothing but the terion so this is the terion what lies deep to terion answer is pretty simple that is middle meningeal artery and uh, let's look at the anatomy of the middle meningeal artery and let us look at the other important points about this artery so to begin with it's a branch of the maxillary artery and it this is a branch of the maxillary artery and it passes between the two roots of auriculotemporal nerve and then it enters through the foramen spinosum then it enters through the foramen spinosum we can see here this is the foramen spinosum this is the foramen spinosum and it passes through it along with the msri nerve and the nervus spinosum so from foramen spinosum we can remember the mnemonic men these structure pass through the foramen spinosum what is m is the middle meningeal artery the artery in the question along with msri vein and the nervus spinosum and what is nervus spinosum it is a recurrent meningeal branch of the mandibular nerve mandibular nerve itself passes below through the foramen ovale it gets out of the foramen ovale but a one of its branch it enters again into the cranial cavity it goes back into the cranial cavity so that is why it is known as recurrent uh, meningeal branch because it passes through the foramen spinosum its other name is nervus spinosum now coming to the middle meningeal artery again so middle meningeal artery is a branch of the maxillary artery it has passed through the foramen spinosum and now it is going to reach deep to the terion and we can see in this picture we can see in this picture the middle meningeal artery is passing through the foramen spinosum you can see from the inside and then it reaches deep to the terion so obvious answer to this question was the middle meningeal artery yes so now let us look at the summary of the middle meningeal artery what are the important points we have learned about the middle meningeal artery what are the important points it's a branch of the maxillary artery yes it passes through the two roots of the auriculotemporal nerve then it passes through the Uh, foramen spinosum with the msri vein and the nervus spinosum and we have learned the main structures it lies deep to the terion that was the question and the next important point is it is the most common vessel involved in the extra dural hemorrhage right now exam has already happened whatever ha has happened uh, you cannot change now okay so remember one thing jo ho gaya use socha nahi karte jo ho gaya उसे सोचा नहीं करते और जो मिल गया उसे खोया नहीं करते हासिल उन्हें ही होती है कामयाबी जो वक्त और हालात पर रोया नहीं करते ठीक है और एक बात पुश योर सेल्फ बिकॉज नो वन एल्स इज गोइंग टू डू इट फॉर यू राइट बेस्ट विशेष वर्क हार्ड थैंक यू वेरी मच